Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you guys happen to remember which uh, which doc this all this stuff all came through? Maybe he's still there. Uh, doc nineteen. I think it was the um, uh, Luca D- Daka. Um, that's the hut for Steel Beast. Yeah, that's the ship uh, that came in. I may have laughed already. Beast. Yeah, may have laughed already. Not sure. We don't really deal with loading. We're more, more the unloaders. Well, we're, we're going to go have a look and, and see if we can. We can see if we can sort this. I can see if I can sort this out for you as well. Um, can I make a computer's test to like? Because I mean, I would guess that there'd be a terminal that like says in like that's just like actually kind of a general inbound, outbound. What's here? What's not? Yeah, they like probably got an itinerary somewhere. Yeah. Though that might be something that we ne- might need to go searching for. I was more thinking this is more like an airport, so it might like say inbound, outbound, and say that sort of stuff. Though this might just be a cargo dock, so maybe we got to go back they, to the they original still guy. Probably have that for you know the people waiting on stuff. Yeah, yeah it's probably around. Yeah, that's why I'm asking because I'm like, hmm, we could possibly just look to see is it still here or. Is this also a ship that, like, they decided to try and hide its presence and not even put on the boards? Well, if they well, were just putting one container through without customs, they'd probably let the rest get on record just so it doesn't look suspicious. Yeah. Well, well, this, not going to link a whole ship as empty. Yeah, it'll be weird. This is an import dock. So, yeah, computers, Jackie, if you want to... Um, Try and check the logs registry. Uh-huh. Uh, average difficulty. Am I going to have to do this again? Looking that way. This would be so much easier if I knew Hutties. Hmm. Nope, I. Uh, uh, I know it! <laughs> my claw hands betray me. Anyone else got computers? No. Well, I do. I mean, I control that, but, you know. I have computers. Take mine as a, uh, advantage. Okay, okay so, uh, I'll let the person who can roll computers So, what's, so what's the difficulty? Average. Two. 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 Okay, I'll take the then... loose dice from their advantages as well. Oh. One, and then... Two. Two. We've narrowed it down significantly for you. Yeah. Upgrading. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah. you, know the, you know the hell out of where that thing is. <laughs> my hands were, see, my hands whiz by. I'm doing probably too much, so I take a little bit of strain there, but, uh. Yep. Yeah, well, okay. well, is it strain, or what would you suggest that I, uh. I think something you said like... that it, it, it needs two threat for, for one strain. Yeah. I think you just made it a bit obvious that we're not just hired thugs. When you when you pull out a little holoturn and start uh, going through the official files, it's okay. I'm talking wrestling with them. <laughs> ah, quick deception check. Uh, it's a, uh, try and, it's a, so not only do I find it whatever whatever I'm doing, nobody knows I actually logged it in. If they were to try to check, yeah. What dif- what difficulty for the? Yeah, average, as you'll do. I'm gonna upgrade because I'm a bastard. There you are. Oh, you. I'm gonna counter because hey, we're running out of dice or not dice tokens. Yeah, no, they're engrossed in the com in the in the racing conversation. They're starting to get a little bit annoyed at you though. Well, to be fair, we've got what we need from these guys. We can probably break off from the Wookies at this point. Yeah, that was just to stop them from noticing the uh, too slightly too professional computer work. So yeah, I thank them for their time, wish them luck, and, and yeah. Yep. Catch me on the regional circuit next month. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. Uh. Ah, wrong button. Sorry. We got through an entire social encounter without a fight. I know. Yeah. I was trying to push for a fight as well. Wait, wait, wait. I know. I know. <laughs> It's a late February miracle. Yay. (laughs) 
It's a ten months before Boxing Day miracle. <laughs> the post Valentine's Day miracle. Yeah. Uh, good old post Valentine's Day. Yep. So, so yeah, we know where the place is now. We know where the ship is. Has she started loading again? Um, they're not really unload loading too much. Um, it's sorry. Probably just occasionally goes really tickly. Um, it's from a, a planet called Maldark, which is known as the. This is what you'll get me triumph. Um, it's a hot world known for like constructions, stuff like that. But it's also quite a. Well, it's a hot world. It's a seedy place to begin with. Yeah. Um. Knowledge warfare check. Okay. Wow. I'm yeah. Somebody else. Uh, difficulty. Uh, average. Nope. You know jack shit. Yup. Yep. Ilo knows something. Yeah. You know something, but you're missing a lot. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty sure that's where the um, the kind of uh, um, gun chips have produced. The hunter killers. Uh, Ilo so only knows this because she was tasked with defending the shipyards a while back. So a shipment went directly for I see, so a ship went directly from the factory yards to Coruscant? Well they don't know where the, yeah, pretty much yes. Yeah, it's it's an industrial planet. They make things other than well, the gunships, yeah. ships, but they also make yeah, the gun ships. straight there. Yeah, the crate was probably suspiciously gunship size. Yes. It's a cargo hauler. They're all going to be gunship sized regardless of what they're carrying. Well, this one. Okay, it'll be suspiciously way like a gunship was inside of it. And accompanied by a boat, Actually, bunch yeah. of soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> um, she is still in dock. Although she's um, scheduled to leave soon. Okay, somebody. Let's, let's go there then. Maybe we need to swing by the Harbour Master actually get the ship locked down. Under what authority? Yeah. That's lie. True. We don't. Well. Yeah. Well, charm and lying. I mean, we've already met the guy, the fat human bastard with the megaphone. You now we've already got some good grace on. All we need to really do is say, okay, look, we're actually looking to just pretend we're local investigators. We don't mention anything else. Oh, actually, I'm. Uh, what's what we? Really Food and what we said, the health inspector. Yeah, I'm a health inspector for the for Coruscant. I need to check the ship before I can leave. Yeah, I'll do. Okay. It's gonna be a hard sell because this is the industrial sector. Yes, I was about to say. Yeah, I only come, I only come around. The industrial sector is so damn big. I only get around here very rarely. And that's why it's so important we lock this ship down. You could say there's a Giska infect station. Ah. Oh god, don't even joke about that. There is this expected Gizka infestation on the ship. We, we have to lock it down and maybe sure. purge the whole thing. Yeah, so maybe purge, purge the entire it vessel. Life. No, not quite. <laughs> but. So yeah, uh, we go back to the guy and uh, we try this line on him. Apparently, um, fat f googling fat foreman only gets me George Foreman. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, I have George Foreman. He, he well. is red. Who? Red Foreman. That was terrible. Don't. <laughs> I like that '70s show. Fun. Okay. Yes. I never watched that. Oh, that, would, that would actually—it would actually work. Yeah. Anyway, it's not that important. You don't need to see this minion. <laughs> yeah. So uh, your lie, John? your lie is—is is there's some sort of horrible infection on board? Yes. That'd, that'd be my, my... And I'm and I'm stressing about how this, you know, we're trying to make sure this doesn't reflect badly on him. Can okay. I throw jar and assist? Well, it's going to be you need a deception and a charm at this point, I think. Okay, let's do the charm first. 
Yeah. Deception to make him think that we're legit. Charm to make him think that it's a good idea to listen to us. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Di what difficulty? Um, deception go the, the charm against against is cool. Yeah, I think it was two red and a thing, or is he yeah, still two red and a um. Yeah, I suppose yeah. this is now more serious. Yeah, th this is more an official difficulty. You right, asked. So you asking about should, should I? Oh, sorry. Have a setback as well, because before you were asking about a person, and now you're suddenly health inspectors. Yeah, we suspect this guy may be to have been for whatever crazy reason trying to be smuggling these gizka. You know, you get these crazy people out there that well, do these you things. Know, Can you know I make it? You give them five minutes, and there's a hundred of them. Can yeah. I make a computer's test to try and, I don't know, put incriminating information somewhere or, like, make it look... Photoshop a gizgo into a photo with this guy. <laughs> of this guy. Um, by the way, for the assist you can upgrade, I think, the last green into a yellow, because I'm trained in it. Uh, assistance, okay, the way that assistance works is that if it's unskilled, it's a flat blue. Uh, I, if I it am is skilled. If you are skilled, then you compare the uh, highest between the two of you. So highest stat, oh. highest skill level, and you combine the I two am better highest. In, I am better in every conceivable way. You are. Then it's just a blue. Cool, I have a blue. Yay. What about the computers thing? Because that might help. Yep, probably want to do the computer check first. So um, average difficulty with me upgrading it once. Let's see okay. if I can actually roll this correctly. Oh, wait, no, Zax is gonna do it. Wait, don't you, don't you, who's got the computer skill? Zax. Not me. Oh, yeah. I just have three in, so I've been throwing these out just All right. because. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I am going to be doing that. Wait, uh, so, also boost die? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, fuck it, I'll assist. Okay. You both hold on to the computer screen. Oh, the galaxy in the scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it works. It's what yeah, I get. Boost die was needed. Did it. You can have a free upgrade for that. Ooh. Cool. Okay, that looks good. Good traffickers in my dog. That looks good. Oh. More likely than you think. Okay, that's Ooh, a charm. Char is living a charmed life. Yeah. Char is just. Char is just. Char is just good at this. Five this session. Char is just flexing, at making the world bend to his will. There's something about a, uh, about a lizard smiling at you that is actually very charismatic. Okay, so that's the charm. Yep, so he's, he's, he's on the. He's like listening to you, it's like, what? They have to actually okay, sell, sell the lie, sell the big lie. So I've got to still give the deception. Yep, but you get a free upgrade. Actually, who's better, who's better at deception, me or Nock? I have three green. Yeah, he knocks better. Yeah, knocks better. So, that'd be against willpower. Um, discipline. Can I give my free upgrade to... No? Yeah, which is his willpower, which is two. So, two. Yeah. Yeah, you can use that to sell it, so... Get a free upgrade for that. <laughs> yeah, I... Did that... Um... Should I spend oh, okay. it for us? I can't believe sure. we're doing this. <laughs> Like, okay. why not? I can't believe it's working. Oh, okay, I can't believe it's working more specifically. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is definitely... <laughs> what the fuck? He, this is what happens when we try and do things the nice way. We get rewarded with good dice. Yes! The we're not shooting people mindlessly, so the dice <laughs> like us. Yeah, and it's, the karma... It's... Triumphs can say, like, this guy's a permanent contact, he just loves us. Yeah. We yeah, can... We... Tag this guy. We've gotten enough triumphs on this guy. I think by now, if we wanted to, we could just take him with us. <laughs> I mean... Uh, actually, no, that's not allowed. They cannot join the party, but they can be a permanent contact. That's cool. Okay, I'll get my Star Wars name generator out. Yeah, this guy's just earned a name. Having a hobo master. earned and... a name because Yay. we got so many goddamn triumphs on him. Yeah, I think this that... guy's... Sorry. Well, for that, I'll just I'll put a hand on his shoulder and just smile and say thank you, and I seem like a wonderful old grandfather. It's like Somehow. four on this guy alone this yep. session. <laughs> the most triumphant Trandoshan is here. 
Mando's there. That's a new person in the game, boy. Mando killed yeah. Darn. I'm just, I'm using up all the triumphs this session. Right. We also got like two <laughs> last session and... It's true. Like, outside of Atten, this is more than we've ever gotten. Okay, so this ship's probably locked down, right? Oh yeah, he immediately hits the panic button, pretty much locks the entire spaceport down. Actually, maybe, right. maybe summons the police? No, we are the police. Yeah, why would you okay. summon the police when we are them? Okay, we get oh, enough oh, to oh. summon other police. So yes, you have a dock overseer called Mandan Mando King Kildan as your minion now. Excellent. Very, very friendly said now. Lando at first. <laughs> no, Lando no. Calrissian. Yes. <laughs> Lando Calrissian. I get the feeling that Doc Foreman is one of Lando's former lives. Probably. Oh, probably. probably. The party never. The party never ran into Lando in the last game. No, we we, ne we completely ignored Beth. So Lando's still there. Probably, yeah, I yeah, he's probably doing pretty well for himself. I seem to remember the one time we tried to go into the Cloud City, that weird hut rumpa bumper thing happened. That oh, what? <laughs> the hut combat festival, I forgot the name of it. No, that wasn't Bespin. When we were on our way to Cloud City, we got interrupted though, because we got, like, the random phone call. I don't think we ever decided on a destination before that happened. Yeah, well, that well, happened, and then we were Moomba. like, well... That was we're it, ever, <laughs> yeah, that happened and then we were like, well, it doesn't matter where we were going before. Mm. Well, so we have it. We well, oh, have the ship that. locked down. Uh, what do you want to do next? Well, I want to go and pretend to be a health inspector, so let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Health inspectors! You've, you've started um, to lie, you better have with it. <laughs> well, but, well, I mean... The thing is, though, is that how the hell are we going to actually pose as health inspectors without that? Like, if, if this is how... I yeah, asked the guy... Let's just keep going. I oh. asked Mando if I can borrow a clipboard from his desk. Yeah, at this point he's going to give you anything. Okay, I, I, we all get clipboards. Now we're official. <laughs> uh, he also he orders also you, you need to wear a hard hat since you're going into the dock area. Just for health, oh, just for health. Helmet back on. Yeah. Yeah, we we look funny. <laughs> yeah, a noble in full regalia, just wearing a hard hat. Imagine yeah. trying to ocean in a hard hat. <laughs> well, at least uh, it's yeah. a high pilot just tagging along. No, wait, you got the hard hat on top of the flight helm. The rules, <laughs> like you know. That is the best idea. Yes. Safety <laughs> double first. Mind you, I also quite like the idea of a hard hat on top of the Texas cowboy hat. Yeah, we're all wearing hats on top of whatever other headwear we have. A finely waxed toupee cap. No, I'm sorry, I said it. Toupee cap. Well, yeah. <laughs> Air, hard hat, toupee. Those high okay. status. <laughs> okay, so we all go out onto the um, landing pad, I suppose. Yep. Yeah. Looking very, very concerned. And official. And official. Officially concerned. Concerned officially. Alright, so you get into the, um... Kind of lift. <laughs> Bad Muzak stops playing. It's a big enough ship that it doesn't even have a ramp, it just has a turbo lift. Well, there's a turbo lift, it's to the docking area. Yeah, because we're an officer, we go down to the lock uh, thing. Bad things happen whenever pictures show up. Oh yeah. Also Ooh, in that's combat. That's a shiny map. Yeah. I think it's stolen. Sorry. I think it's stolen from um, the uh, old republic. Ooh. It does look like it's doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this may well be. So as you get off the as you get off the lift, lift there's a couple of um, guards standing near the door. Oh, these fuckers are back! Oh, these guys, marvelous! 
Okay, we're probably going to want to coerce our way past these guys, so Nox should Unless probably lead the way. Unless they shoot as soon as the doors open. No, no, they're not going to randomly shoot people. They are not looking friendly, though. Okay, the, the best way to get onto the ship is probably to just bluster, to sort of use use momentum and bluster our way onto it. Yep. So Nox should probably take the lead. Yeah, also, probably. unfortunately, I do not have Gunslinger, or I would, like, get the uh, quick draw talent and just be able to pull both my guns as an incidental. <laughs> See, I got that because I have a weapon sling. Uh, Except I don't have two guns, I just have one big one. Okay, I'll just walk straight up to the door and say, Inspect for Gizka. Open. Alright. How are you going to take that? Um, just kind of, um... I'm just acting like I'm going to walk right past them. Yeah. You're not actually talking to them, you're talking to the door. <laughs> okay. They're going to, like, raise a gun and like, stop! Yeah. You're not getting any further. I'll just... Turn my turn my head sideways. Look at one of them side eye and say, "Open." And they're going to go, "No, get lost, mate." Uh, well, this is a private uh, privately hired docking bay. Open or we open. And I'll try to coerce them. All right. So, what are they like? Humans or random aliens? Okay, right. pretty much somewhere easy. between human and Gamorrean. There's a bracket. Well. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just grabbed a token. They're basically like everyone's a different alien. Okay. Um, who's spinning me? <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be one difficulty, apparently. I see Zex is smartly staying in well, the lift. Well, actually, no, uh, I'm going to... You gonna, might, you I'm might gonna, be able to... Yeah. I'm going to boost that to um, one, red, uh, one red, one uh, purple with an upgrade. Is it just, like, one person on either side, or are this, like, groups? Yeah, it's one person on either side of the door. Okay. There's probably more inside, is the thing. Okay, I, again, I can ignore one of those with a bit of effort. It works. Open. It's like you, you don't want to go in there, the boss will be mad. I am mad. Mad. Mad, I say. No, not that sort of mad. Oh. Capital M mad. They kind of, um, one reaches to the door, and but after a few couple of seconds, it's kind of like, you know, sh sh shudders and then stops. And then raises his gun again. It's like, no, no, no passage. Okay, at this point we hit them in the head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, there's one, like, one last trick we can pull before we do that, before we can jump straight to shooting. Uh, bluff, would bluffing, like, just do a sort of weird legislative rule count more as a charm or as a deception thing? Because I'm basically going to go in there and start going, look here, I don't care if it's a private ship, there's a regulation that demands he turn over the access to his ship well, to. Do you actually know the regulations? Yeah, no, I mean, yes, that would probably be deception. Yeah, that you would be deception. You can yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, it, it didn't... Did it look like he sort of shuddered voluntarily? No, it's more like a... Well, I mean, yes, he shuddered fear, voluntarily. Yeah. That's kind of the point of shuddering. Yeah. yeah, but what I'm saying is, is like... This guy isn't, like, under somebody's control now or something. No, he clearly oh, no. got yeah. halfway to the lever and then realize what would happen to him if he opened it. This is more of a fear thing than him being somebody's puppet, I think. He's just too scared to find out what will happen if the boss opens the door. We'll see in a or one roll time. time. We'll see boss. in a few seconds anyway. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, screw it up. Whatever, taking a swing at one of them, or I'm going to roll vigilance to see if I can surprise one of them. Right. Yeah, same. Okay, fine. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I Why think we cool, could go for them. Because <laughs> yeah. we're surprised. Why not cool, by... though? Well, because somebody else threw a surprise punch, and so we're reacting, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, Vigilance is kind of like, literally, who's faster on the draw? I, I fucked it up. Let me try that again. Though the person who means to throw the punch probably can roll cool. Like, this is, that's the odd thing about this, is that you can roll two different things for okay, uh, so back initiative. Okay, so the update didn't fix our initiatives not going in. No. Well, here's the thing. It's only fixed, like, only some of the issues, because my three went in fine, and I see the two hostiles no. went in it's fine. Okay, yeah. The two hostiles went in fine, the three went in fine. Mine did not jar... Okay, so we should have a... A 3.1. 3.1. A 1.3. 1.3, we should have... 3.0 is in there, so we'll skip that. Uh, one, okay, the, the two GM stuff are in there. Uh, 0.02. Oh, and a 2.1. Okay, but... Well, hang on, I rolled twice. Yeah, yeah but... Yeah, the first one was an initiative. Yeah, oh, I just rolled, right, yeah. I so rolled just points. vigilance by mistake. Oh, gosh. I mean, that's how you roll initiative, but... Yeah. He and uh, it would go in. As far as I remember, PCs always trump NPCs unless uh, GM Fiat says otherwise. Yeah. In terms of slot order. Yep. Okay. Um, before anybody starts shooting, we should probably ask ourselves if we're shooting to stun or to kill here, to be honest. Stun. Uh, stun to start, yeah. Good. Well, I, I do stun damage one way or the other, so. Oh, yeah, you're punching people in the face at that point. Well, anyway, I'm kicking this off, so I'm gonna grab my gaff yeah, stick and it, swing at somebody. Do these guys have any defense or anything? Um, no. Six damage. Wait, is that um? Six strain damage. No. Oh, four soak. Yeah. Well, I'll go next. Then I'll go third, I guess. I'll go for the one who takes less damage from you two. Wait, do we get anything for catching them by surprise? We get to go first. You get to go first. Okay, fair enough. Uh, just, yeah, just two. Okay, it. How many things does it cost to activate a, a talent if it doesn't say? Uh, um, two, I believe. If it does not say otherwise for a weapon, the default is two. Okay, so I'm going to activate concussive, and basically, the Nick, the guy on the right, is on his I, ass. I, let me just. Uh, concussive is yeah, actually even worse than that. I think so. That uh, makes you. St Dagger, I want to say. Where the hell is the weapons character? Um, okay, concussive. Uh, staggered characters cannot perform actions. So, so he can move but not attack. Right. I will go third. What's that? Why track his damage across? Oh, he's unconscious anyway. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, well, I need to... Uh, they're, they're mooks. Okay, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you punch him so hard, he's held before. Yeah, so like, this is just gonna be super quick. Well, until we get the door open and surprise, there's 40 of them behind there. Why Wait, can we try these things? Can, can we try not to shoot? So far we've, held, we've, we've handled this silently. True, true. true. Do we have Mild anyone nation. else who's good at melee? No. Probably not. Well... Here's the problem. I can stun blast to somebody, but I can only stun blast. Can yeah, the three of you yeah. manage three wounds between between the three of you? Probably. Uh, if that made any I sense. can attempt a brawl check. We can try. Okay. Um, you, you questions how well this is going to go, but sure. Uh, okay, so how... F uh, wait. People already taking their slots? Alright. Uh, no, you how can put yourself in. How far away is uh, would Zex be from the other attacker? Probably short range. Which between the three of you, who's got the highest brawn? I have two. Definitely three. Not me. Two. So it's going to be okay. him. Okay. 
Series X is the best choice. Cool. 